Brian from Micros and Baby Greens showing you my lettuce setup. Um, I've been inspired by a couple different hydroponics people. I did hydroponics younger days. Now I'm getting back into it. Um, J and G Hydroponics out of the Philippines. An MPH gardener, he's out of North Carolina. And Spring Hill Farms out of Canada, Ontario. And Hocho, I think Hocho is out of Australia, I do believe. Those are the ones I watch the most. So, here's my little setup I have. If you look on the right and left is uh, the deep water culture. And the center is the NTF from Crop King. I just bought the channels built it all myself um, each channel is about fifteen dollars in parts to put it together and they're four feet long and these deep water cultures are five feet long and then i have the little baffles out here that i use to distribute my water and the little valves um, and then the deep water culture this is an air stone line and over here this is an air stone line and I have an air stone in my tank up there also so like here's my prize sun's going down so it's hard to see but it's got a little red tint to it this prize here in the deep water culture has got a little better red tint my spinach is getting overshadowed here it's going to get harvested and then I got some romaine Some, bait, some butter, some red romaine, some more butter. And here's what I want to harvest today. I want to harvest, I think, that romaine right there, and probably that one. Those two, probably. Baby romaine. Here's a bib up here. And that's a red sails right there. I thought I'd try that. I saw somebody had a video on that. And this is a red uh, salad bowl. There's some red sorrel right here. So it's getting a little crowded. I'm about to harvest some stuff. But um, if people want to see how I did it, I can do a video on that. Here's some baby kale I just planted. And up there's a a Swiss yard. There was a Swiss yard in here, but I pulled it out. It was getting bad. So that's what I have. There's five channels and then four deep water culture. So if you look, like my red sorrel, it's got beautiful roots on it. see the water in there. The water comes up in the net cup about a quarter inch, if that. Let me see if I can pull one of these out. Look up. See there's the roots. I want to pull this romaine out of here so you guys can see it. And then I will stop the camera and put it in the bag. Hole's pretty small, so you gotta be careful. You gotta work it back and forth. I'm doing this one handed, I apologize if it's shaky. So, see, there's my root ball. I'll pause this, and I'll be back. All right, so there it is in the bag. It's a decent amount. There's my strawberries on my strawberry tower. But it's a decent amount. It's coastal romaine from Johnny Seed. That's an 18 inch bag. So I just put one in its place, took it out, cleaned up around it. Put a new baby in its place. It's a little smaller than I like, but that's what I got right now. 
I didn't plant like I should. I forgot to plant for about a week. So I'll harvest this tomorrow. This is prize. This I've been waiting to eat this. I think this will be good. It's got a nice thick, crunchy, curly leaf. So I'll pick some of my spinach over there. The spinach is proven to be tough to grow. This is the only one I've got to grow so far. It's doing okay, but uh, the red sorrel, that took right off. So that looks good. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to do a red romaine, didn't I? Maybe I'll come back and do that. I only got one bag with me. So, over oh, there's my strawberries. There and on the other side. Spinach up there. Neighbor walked out of their house. 17 gallon tank. There's my drain over there for changing water, which I gotta do tomorrow. So if anybody's got any questions, I can make a video on how I did it. It was pretty easy actually. Second attempt. First attempt didn't go so well. But alright, have a good day.